I can take this video, put it into Opus Clip and I get 40 shorts in return. In fact, that is what this guy and many other creators have been doing for a while now and it seems to work perfectly for them. If you take a look at his views, you can see that his shorts are getting over 400k views. And this is just one of the easiest way to get content and grow your channel. So in this video, I will show you exactly how you can use Opus Clip to generate shorts like this. And I will show you how to use the editor so you never have to use Premiere Pro ever again. To get the best results while dropping in your link, you can give it some instructions like find me the viral moments. You can set your clip length. I have that 30, 59 and 60 to 98 seconds. And then you select your preset. So for this, I'm going to do this preset right here. And then we click on get clips in one click and boom, you're done. Now that gives you all of these clips. And now I'm going to show you how you can edit this. So let's just edit this one. What we do here is we click on edit clip and now we can completely customize it to make our own. So right now it looks like this. Unlike most people that come on, you didn't spend at what you make. You didn't spend more than what you made. You spent less than you made. So this is a pretty strong hook. But what I'm noticing already is the framing might be off. So we double click on here and then we're going to drag it over to his face. And now we hit apply. And now we can see he's perfectly aligned. So if that's the case, then you can fix it by double clicking on it. And you might have to do this for multiple different clips. Other than that, if you want to customize your shorts a little bit better, then what I will suggest you to do is to upload your own custom font. So here, as you can see, we have the standard Hormozy font, but I want to change this to something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to caption Here I'm going to scroll down and here we have the font. So for the font, you can upload your own custom font. If you click on this, this will bring you over to the brand kit and here you can drag in your own file. If you don't know what type of font you want, you can simply head over to like that font and here you can download a ton of different fonts. Now I already have done that. I have this Nexa heavy font and that's the font that I want to use. So I'm going to click on Nexa heavy right here. And as you can see, it has just changed that font. Now it looks quite good to me, but what else you can do is you can change the color of your text. So right now we're on white, but if you want to change this to blue, for example, then you can do this or that's actually purple. So this is a bit more blue. And this way you personalize your captions. Besides that, if you want to change up the highlighting color, so on the left hand side, you can see the words that are highlighted. If you, by the way, want to highlight a word, then you click on the word and then you say highlight and then you can choose your color. If you want to change that color, then you go down to AI keyword highlighter and then here you can change the color of that. So this way you can make your own font. You can completely make it your own. And also if you don't like the placement, then you can simply drag it up and you can see the borders of which you need to stay in. Otherwise your captions might be cut off. So I'm going to drag it a bit higher so people don't have to look too much down when they want to read the caption and see their face. And this is what most people use when they change up their caption. Now, besides that, some of the new features that Opus Clip has is adding in some music. So if we go down here to music, then we can add in some music that we like. So we just click on it and then we can listen to it. If you like that song, then you click on add. And now it will be added to the timeline. So now you have some background music in the editor. You no longer have to download your video, put it into something like Premiere. You can do everything through Opus. Another thing which is pretty cool is that you can now add in your own media. For those that do not know how this works, you click on upload. Then here you can drag and drop your file. So I have a file in my file finder somewhere. Now I click on this and now I hit open. And now it's uploading that clip to this timeline. So once that is uploaded, I can simply drag it over to the timeline. I can even adjust the length of it so I can make small cuts. And now I have this custom B-roll on my timeline on top of my video. So no need to export your videos. You can do everything within Opus. If you don't have your own stock footage that you can download and put into your video, then you can simply go to B-roll. Here you can see we're adding in a stock library that's coming soon. But for now, you can either use the auto generate stock B-roll or you can use the AI B-roll. So if you click on this, then it will analyze the transcript and it will find places where it can add that B-roll. Now, if you don't like that B-roll, then you can simply change up that prompt and then you can generate something new for that. 
Now let's take a look at what it has made. It's it's one of those things where it's like I basically really f***ed up with like the Apple card. Most people that come on the show don't know the situation. Okay, so here for the part where he's talking about having a ton of credit cards, we see a stack of credit cards and some cash. Then here on this part, when he says something about their finances, we have a finances sheet. So basically it has done a great job at it, but if you want to change it, you simply click on it, then you retype the prompt and then you hit regenerate for free and then your b-roll will be regenerated. So that's exactly how you can edit your YouTube shorts once you've generated them within Opus. So we know we got a lot of shorts here and you can easily edit them through Opus Clip itself. You can save that type of template that you've used and use it on future projects so you don't have to manually change each and every video. And then once you're done with that, then you got yourself 40 shorts that are generated with AI. Now, if you want to see more tutorials like this, then click the video that's on the box right now. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.